In this video, you're gonna learn how to create this cool audio reacting visualizer in Adobe After Effects. So the first thing I'm gonna do is just start off with, first I do need a music track, so I have dragged in a music track of choice or audio track into my Adobe After Effects project. And the next thing I'll do is just create a new shape layer. So I'll go to new, or I can just create a new solid. So layer new solid and press enter. And this will give us a blank solid layer. And on this, we're going to go to the effects panel and search for one called audio spectrum. So I can click and drag this onto the white solid layer and it'll create this default audio spectrum line. And in the effect controls panel, there's a few things we can adjust. So first of all, the audio layer, right now it's set to white solid, but if you pick the music track or audio track that you inserted into your project, you'll now get a reactive audio spectrum. So by default, it's pretty cool actually, and I have tutorials like this and others, but to get this cool dot and circle effect, what we're gonna do is first grab our ellipse tool and we're gonna highlight our white solid and we can actually just click and hold, I'll hold shift and command to create a circle mask. So you can make it roughly as big as you need. And if you drop down your white solid layer under masks, you'll see mask one. Now, the other thing you wanna do is set the path here in the audio spectrum to use mask one. And now sometimes the other thing that happens is the mask is sort of cut off like by the square. For example, if I increase the thickness a lot, you see like we have this bounding box and we don't want that. So a quick fix for that is to change the mask mode to none. This will eliminate those bounding boxes and now we have a circular audio spectrum, which is what we wanted. And from here in the effect controls panel, you actually have a lot of flexibility. So you can adjust the frequency that it selects from the audio. You can select the amount of frequency bands, the softness of the band. So if I just wanted those dots, I can make it 0% softness. And all of these are somewhat self-explanatory and you can choose the color and all of that. A cool one you have is hue interpolation. This kind of adds a range of colors and you also can choose the type of display. So there's analog dots, digital. Uh, you can also make it go from side A, so only out or side B will only go in some slight differences. So side A, a and B will go on both sides of the line like that. Now what I did to make it repeat is basically just copy and paste this layer and just adjust the transform options of the scale. So I, I'll just scale it down and I can just copy and paste and scale it down. Alternatively, you could just create new masks every single time, but this is much simpler and faster. And you can really do it as much as you want. Uh, eventually it's gonna be hard to get much closer. And if you wanted the dots to change, you can go into each individual duplication and then adjust, like if you wanted the inside to keep getting thicker or if you wanted less frequency bands, the closer you get to the center, things like this. You can adjust each one so they're slightly different and maybe you can even adjust the frequencies so that they're slightly different. The only tedious part here is you're going to have to go to each one and make sure you link the audio layer to be the music track, which you can do in a few seconds just clicking. Um, I'm thinking of a way on how to automatically do that all at once, but just wanted to share what I've come up with so far. And yeah, I would recommend slightly changing the frequencies just so not everything is completely the same and maybe even just only working with side A or B once you get to, towards the middle, you can see what looks good for you. But if I press play here, I get this cool repeated audio visualizer and I have lots of flexibility on what to do with it. So please play around with this. You can come up with lots of cool ideas and have fun with it. If you enjoyed this video, you can check out more and others like it in the playlist on my channel. My name is Justin Odisho. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.